what the hell? I freaking love it. I love it. I love this. What? It's amazing. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. This is Shruti. And this is Jojo. Yes. So uh, this is something different that I wanted to do from a long time. And finally, we are getting to it. So it's it's a series. It's going to be ongoing. I'm going to try and do it uh, every couple of weeks um, where we talk about TV shows and what we're watching and what we're enjoying and what we're not enjoying. And I wanted to start this first and foremost with Ms. Bola telling us what is the deal with K-dramas? Like, what is it? Why? <laughs> Why is that a big hype and all this? Everyone like obsessed and uh, binge watching <laughs> one after another, especially you. And she goes on about it. She goes on about it. So, are yes. you ready to have this full on discussion? discussion? Yeah. Listen, I'm always ready to discuss K K drama. You can wake me up and I'm sleeping, and I will keep my eyes shut, but I will just start rattling off. So, like, you can you can do this anytime with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't always like this. I must tell you that I wasn't always like this. I, I was, I was that person one and a half year back who would like be. Why K drama? Like, I what is? Know. Why are you like just like going crazy over it? And you constantly want to watch it. And people are like, and if you haven't seen it, and if another friend has seen it, uh, AKA today, what I am, uh, you must watch it. You must watch it. Why aren't you watching it? I had friends who were doing that to me, and I was just like, can you guys just get off my back? Like, I don't want to watch it. So like, just back you know, off. You know what the interesting thing in this whole phenomena is? Ki, why aren't you watching it? Since you said it being a whole genre, it's not just yes. one show or one film or you know one creative. It is an entire genre of them that everyone is crazy about. It's yeah, it's actually not even a genre. It's an entire film industry. It's a whole mm-hmm. industry which exists, right. which has all different genres, and you'll be shocked as to the number of uh, series that exist in every kind that you want to watch. Like, mm. is there is there sci-fi that you want to watch? Is there? I mean, love is an ever-present uh, theme yeah, yeah. in all K-drama things, and that's the selling point. Like, you know, you'd ask me earlier, why why K-drama? Uh, do you like being in love? Do you like that feeling which you feel that you know when you are just swooning and you're looking at? Listen, uh, you're, and you're to get that, you're getting a series. <laughs> this is love, love. That's exactly. Why Bollywood exactly. is main premise has been love. through all the decades exactly exactly now i was so sick and tired of watching those you know those doom dhadam constantly fighty aap news dekh rahe ho aapko literally same information mil rahi hai jo aap baal dhad wale jo new web series that are coming out when you're watching that i was done with that i was like i cannot be just bombarding myself with so much negative info that mujhse nahi ho raha tha you know all the extreme maar dhad you get my point like mm-hmm. all the all the so, mirzapur genre of series that uh, were coming out so i I'll, i'll i'll tell you uh, why i feel that's been a trend because uh, gangs of wasepur and all these like one off films were happening out of the main film industry in the country yeah and yeah. then of course the streaming platforms came in which gave uh, the creative people so much more to play with and so yes. now they've gone batshit crazy with that one genre <laughs> you know so initially i really enjoyed it so, yeah, yeah it's good because public ko kuch different mil raha hai lekin there are people who actually and the thing is you don't know what you don't have till you get it correct correct and right? that little cynicism which comes with life and with the way we are currently stuck in our homes unable to get out you know yeah. there's enough of cynicism that is brewing within us we yeah. need something that's an outlet which actually just lowers the stress levels and puts you mentally in a different zone you know where yeah. you're happy and you're in a, which is where k drama comes in <laughs> and actually you know if 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 corona and covid hadn't taken over who knows maybe the return to love stories wouldn't have have been that impactful especially on someone like you because i know you like the <laughs> offbeat genres and the offbeat stories correct correct um, correct but i but think having said that having said that uh, the other piece of information which i recently got is that netflix has put in 700 million dollars since 2015 into k dramas into content creation so i think if the market is flooded with one kind of uh, you know series and one kind of uh, you know content that's coming out it's impossible mm. not to get hooked and watch so that's another side of a story that why suddenly k drama is all over the place the so, underlying factor is that so much content is being created over there yeah yeah and they see they see the potential no? so yes, i think that yes. way that way netflix is doing really well they know ki yeah. oh, there's enough of a market for this they obviously have the numbers in front of them um, and they're so good looking so who wouldn't want to watch pretty people yeah but, i mean that's if but uh but, no, <laughs> but the thing is i don't think that like all the 700 million they've invested is not going to be all netflix originals they'll be they'll be getting content that's already created and all of that right they'll be getting yeah of course those. acquiring yeah um, yeah 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 so sure. i mean not just netflix then there's a lot of other platforms that are 
probably going to be following and the th- that's the thing there's so much content now how do you decide i want to know how you got into it and then okay. um so i write right yeah right off the bat i i remember i didn't have any series that i really was interested in watching at that point i was bored of everything that was going on so i gave it a shot i said i like fantasy But fiction when was this a year ago one and a half year back yeah one year back okay. when when actually one year back when covid had started but like everyone wasn't too serious about it that time okay so yeah. around march last year march april uh, yeah yeah roughly matlab okay. mai koi exact na exactly yaad nahi hai okay. but like yeah yeah it feels like a lifetime no i want But to yes. know because you binge <laughs> you binge on about 20 shows so i want to know how yeah. how much time it's taken constantly <laughs> because every every series has i've been back to back watching so mm-hmm. every series has about um, uh, some series mostly have 16 episodes uh, and these are limited series they don't go into like they have a definitive Ex- end there okay. are some seri- yeah and uh, there are some which go on to 22 episodes but most of them are about 16 episodes Okay, so the series average. is not season. There are no multiple seasons, and not not really, not really. They are limited series. Like you know, okay. it's a limited this thing. Uh, oh. uh, and uh, each episode is not just twenty minutes. What we're used to, it's easily about forty-five minutes. And special episodes are one hour. So it's there's enough so meatiness like that you're watching. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a movie. Half exactly. Movie each episode. Exactly. Like yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. That's why I have now picked. I said, "Ek se jojo ka kuch nahi hoga." So I have got like a list for you because you know I've seen so many. But I thought, oh. let me just introduce to different genres. I can't like make you watch everything. Huh. And the the thing about them is, you get so emotionally invested in every series that you watch that you want to recommend each one of them. Everything has a special life. And ऐसा नहीं है कि गंदी वाली सीरीज नहीं है. There are couple of them which I watched and I said, "ये मैंने क्यों देखी?" मतलब ठीक थी. So then okay. there is there is a balance. Yeah, there obviously. Ones, but eighty percent are good. That's but the they're thing. not all love stories, or they all are, but in a different uh, of the in different genre package. Like yeah, yeah. Like for instance, there will be uh, there will be sci-fi where you are uh, parallel universes are being spoken about, uh, mm. and and but love will be the underlying factor. Then once you get over the whole love thing, there are many layers going on within the story. Uh, or say if it is a uh, uh, games sci- game game based show. like you know then it will have why don't i just begin with the different ones i have uh, mm-hmm. shortlisted for you then all this will oh. get much clearer because okay. in different so, yeah because so let's begin with my favorite genre which is uh, uh, fantasy and fiction yes we know yes okay. <laughs> so you're okay. going to so, so you're going to show me three trailers we'll watch them sort of one after another and then we'll have a yeah. full on discussion around everything post sorry discussion i don't know i will answer your questions whatever Haan. you might have yeah, yeah yeah you like this but we can have a you know question answer the round yeah. about it yeah. and i can clarify my stance on it yeah, yeah. without uh, spoilers just, there will be no spoilers ha uh, huh, i will try that's why i've tried to choose trailers because i feel strongly about it i would not want a spoiler for this so yeah. i'm just not going to yeah give you a spoiler okay. but uh, yeah so what first? Uh, first is uh, i've chosen guardian which is uh, uh, the other name the korean name for it is goblin like literally translated would be goblin and okay. first let's watch the trailer then i'll tell you more details about it because it has two of my favorite actors in it and it you was also to- the first series oh. yeah yeah of course i have favorite actors okay. like i'm totally fan girling and fan girling is very serious business in korea like in yes. uh, fan girling yeah. is a serious thing there's in fact a whole series made on fan girling which is hilarious so there are this is what i mean the content is really like I call it evolved because the story, writing, and everything—it's the different kind of ideas you can pull together and make a series where you'd be like, "Oh, this exists. Oh, mm-hmm. they made it on this." So that's very interesting to watch. Okay, yeah. so I mean, let's, go. let's do it. Come on, Goblin, the Lonely and Great God—that's the subtitle for it. Okay. So we're going to watch it and then we shall discuss it. Okay, Jojo, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, play. Can you? 물이고 불이고 바람이며 비치자 어둡니다. 아저씨 귀신이잖아요. 제가 귀신을 보거든요. 아저씨 도깨비예요? 나는 여태 이렇게 살아 있고 편안하지 못하였네. 안녕하세요. 지은탁입니다. 대략 한 200년 후에 아저씨 신부 될 사람입니다. 오케이. Okay. 
one second. This gave me yes. full Last Samurai feels, and that was one of my favorite his movies. I bawled my eyes out. Uh, but then suddenly it goes into I'm gonna be your bride in two hundred years. What is what is going on here? Okay, so goblin is a creature, is a mystical, mythical creature who basically was a warrior. and then the warrior uh, uh because of certain actions and sins that he did uh, but his good and his bad were came in such a balance that he was punished but it gave him eternal life so he, his sword was put into his heart and the only person who can take the sword out is the goblin's bride and when the goblin's bride will be born so the whole point is that you're in love with somebody he'll finally fall in love oh, oh. but his love is the only one who can give him peace by taking love, the sword out so love can literally kill you <laughs> or yes love will give you peace but then you will not have that love so like there are there are many oh, yeah. under layers that you know the conflict gets created in such a beautiful way that what are you going to choose are you going to choose life with pain but with your love or are you going to finally choose nirvana and oh, but lose so your wait, love so wait but he's eternal but he's in no pain. as in because the sword is constantly in his heart he's living with the sword in his heart so it keeps hurting him like physically yeah it's constantly oh. hurting him yeah it's okay. constantly physically hurting him and mm-hmm. uh, there are other secondary uh, this things so another thing which is really amazing about k drama is however serious a topic might be there the way they shoot it and the script is always really funny so there will be jokes and there will be like a lot of the interaction of the, among the characters would be really cute and funny and that's what they do with every that i've noticed across all genres but the humor translates through subtitles yeah. correct yeah 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 like beautifully like very very beautifully the subtitles also i think they really shortlist the right kind of people to write the subtitles because mm-hmm. there are moments when i catch myself laughing really loudly and it is not just the expressions but it's the way it's been transcribed as well so all of it collectively just like it's really good like so you have to experience awesome, yeah, because you're getting yeah. drama with uh, humor and laughter because yeah. i think that yeah. that like you were saying is so needed right now and it's such a Correct. it's a relief Correct. from the rest of the serious kind of shows that are coming out uh, a Correct. lot but uh, okay this one, like i like uh, the whole i won't say this is reincarnation but i like that whole like fantasy so uh, so there is with... reincarnation in it as well so there is oh. there are they've added so many layers which is what's interesting at no point mm. will you get bored saying mujhe to pata tha ki hone wala hai you know we we've, we've seen so much that we start mm. guessing ke are ha theek hai ye series mujhe pata hai ye to wahan ja rahi hai okay i know the end you will not know the end and the way the twists and turns they will put everything you can imagine will be done by second or third episode and then you will wonder wait so now what we have 16 okay. episodes to go <laughs> ab kya ho raha hai <laughs> so and there is a cliffhanger and that i'm sure as a script this thing that's a you know norm which happens with every series there's a major clip cliffhanger at the end of every se- episode but within that episode there will be two three twists and turns happening mm-hmm. where you will be like whoa to keep the story propelling mm-hmm. na forward uh, but um yeah, but not forcefully hmm ha huh. no not forcefully in a in a inter- interesting way yeah interesting but, way. Hmm. but uh the word goblin is it a korean word or what is the scene so, because it's so goblin goblin is a english word but the there is a korean word for it and huh. that's the actual series and you know jaise wo kahaniyan nahi hoti ke okay like not gabbar aa jayega but like so jao nahi to somebody buddhi bami will come in like you know uh, yeah, yeah. when they scare the kids and they do so or like a vikram betal or like yeah. a, so we have all these folk tales which are there so goblin is a folk tale of korea okay. so many other series have reference to it as well so it's more okay. like a scary so as figure. a concept is, it exists yeah, the yeah, idea yeah. of someone yeah, who's eternal con- yes. and not dead and all of that yeah and who is scary who has magical powers and you shouldn't cross a goblin because either he can give you a boon or a pain like you know if if he's in a good mood uh, uh, you know he can also give you do some very miracle miraculous stuff for you but if he's not in a good mood and if you cross him then he can also curse you and you should be careful of that so you know it's a, it's one of those magical creatures type yeah okay this one i'm intrigued <laughs> i think i will watch this one how many uh, episodes is this one Is I don't that... recall. I mean, I bought it earlier. I saw it. Yeah, actually, I saw the series two times. Yeah, because I was insisting so much on this friend of mine watching it, it that I sat and watched the entire series with her, and I loved it. Which is when I realized, okay, okay, drama is for life for me for right now. <laughs> I can't believe you watched it twice. <laughs> I good, did. Huh? I did. Mm. I can watch it again. It's oh. one of those series. I can. There are actually quite a few. I can rewatch endlessly. You know how Shit's Creek? I can rewatch endlessly. Yeah, I'm, so I'm rewatching yeah. it right now. Shit's is my favorite. <laughs> me too. Ah! Okay, okay. we're not going to digress. Okay, yeah, not so. Let's not let's digress. let's see your next favorite trailer. Okay, cool. So I'll give you a choice. Do you want to go into parallel universes, or do you want to uh, go into? Do you want to go cross border into a reality based but a crazy story which is like totally outrageous? 
let's do the cross border first <laughs> chalo cross border is between crash landing on use the series yeah. and oh. north and south korea ka you know how there's this girl who lands up crash landing into north korea and this is not oh. like i'm not revealing anything that's this is the in the trailer so like i'm not revealing anything that okay. should not be spoken and you won't enjoy it it's a gorgeous series it's such a beautiful human drama like you will love it you will it seems serious but it is hilarious situationally hilarious okay. and of course it's got hyun bin in it hyun bin is like superstar like sharukh khan of oh. india vaisa hyun bin is of korea but of the world i'm not so, a yeah. sharukh khan fan but uh, okay <laughs> so okay superstar superstar is the word because huh. he's like no. he's got this really cute boyish humble charm about him but like he's really famous so yeah okay 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 chalo let's cool. watch are you ready crash landing on you theek hai yeah ready yes okay 3 2 1 play 무동력 비행체를 타고 넘어온 자로 오케이 죽어서 하지 않고 돌려 보낸단 말이야. 저 달리기 진짜 잘하거든요. 저시오 거기를 지뢰 맞추어. 그거 밟은 거 같은데 유실 지뢰? 아니. 무장한 특수 관천목 이런 거 아니라서 거기 가면 우리 다 뒤지는 거야. 고압 철선이 작동되지 않는 앞일 그때 휴전선을 넘어 군관 사태 말까지 침투한 당시에 날 지금 간첩 그런 거라고 말하는 거예요? 12월 14일 첫 방송. So really short trailer. I tried uh-huh. to find a longer trailer, but I couldn't find uh, like you know something in that which had subtitles. So yeah, but it's fine. Um, so she's okay. So she's crossed over, uh, and she's uh, now. So she's this really rich lady. Like she's like she's totally killing it in like she's amazing in South Korea. She's got like her business and she's all that. And she goes for a parasailing thing, and वहाँ पे tornado tornado आता है, and she gets totally diverted and. lands up because all by electric wires and everything whatever and she lands up in north korea and how she is trying to run away it's hilarious okay i'm not going to speak anymore why, but like why would you uh, go sailing so close to the border but they're right there na okay. like it's it's literally I mean, it's to, actually the same country but like you know we happen also but uh, also yes so this is what i mean like it's realistic but yet it's an outrageous thing it will never happen but you know as a story like it's hilarious because if it did what would happen Okay. And what's so really- she? She's a spoiled brat, rich girl, and then she falls yes. down this side, and then she is yes. just uh, she's with this uh, troop of army men or one guy who then yeah. takes she's care of her. She stays with him. And- yeah, wow. and they're trying to get her back. And Sounds then, like a Bollywood so it's a very simple plot. It is. It is, wow. but much better. <laughs> oh. It is exactly that, but executed really well. Because especially, see, I didn't know personally that how different the living styles of North and South Korea were. I wasn't aware of it when I saw the series. I see. I saw like a. typical south korean person who seems like us landing up in north korea and when they are there what she experiences what the rev- regular life of a north korean is like i was just looking at it and like her reactions would be my reactions so it was the relativity factor was like insane yeah north korea is like crazy different obviously for obvious reasons yeah. uh, but yeah. i've been i've been to i've been to korea south korea and i've been to seoul yeah. and i have to tell you they are they are that city and the people and everyone seems like they're decades ahead of the rest of the world <laughs> in terms yes. of tech in terms Street of uh, organization in terms of yeah. fashion the yeah. fashion game of every it's another level is- <laughs> And nobody looks like the other person. This is what I love. Nobody oh. is a clone. You know, everybody has yeah. their own personal uh, style, and it's a uh, like yeah. yeah. And yeah. then of yeah. course they have their pop. They have K-pop. They have uh, K-dramas now. Or uh, there's just so, so much I've started happening. watching. So I haven't still got on the K-pop uh, bug, and I've tried. But I, I just can't seem to. I can't I seem to. I tried K dramas. I've caught on immediately, like you know, and it's been the love affair has been going on for a while now. But K pop, I'm trying because a lot of the, by the way, a lot of K drama actors are K pop singers. Mm. So the the two industries are intermingling very effortlessly. Yeah, yeah. Because the they're so talented, act, then they seamlessly yeah. move into this industry. Yeah, well. yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. But so it's um, very common to see that happening. No, but Maddie and I tried to react. We reacted to a BTS song, and I will link that. Dynamite. Uh, Yeah. yeah, it was dynamite. It was a while ago. Yeah. But um, yeah. you, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's an acquired taste, K-pop. I agree. Um, I just agree. Probably like K drama. But yeah. uh, this yeah. again is like your light-hearted, emotional slash humor slash fun plot. Um, uh, light-hearted, emotional. I'm sorry. You please be ready with one dabba of tissue boxes because it'll make you laugh, and then you're going to be crying, crying, crying because the emotional quotient is like, it goes straight in and it wrenches your heart, and you're like, why am I crying? 
but you're like i love them oh! and it's you giving me it's giving me veer zara khuda gawa not at all so those are very serious nahi dil hai ke manta nahi bhai dil hai ke manta nahi so dil hai ke manta nahi is very i would say very different but similar in the fun element of hmm. what is going on in hmm. crash landing again so yeah i like this so how veer zara and all were very serious right yeah, this is like serious. hilarious okay and i, okay, nice. I really want it yeah everything that you can think of will happen in the first half of the series but like by fifth episode you'll be done and i don't want to tell you what happens after that because i want it to be like a what yeah, yeah, this yeah, happened yeah. don't like, tell us yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this, this one i'm yes. definitely going to watch the first yes. yeah, i think this i'll watch first now yes, i, I like must. this one more okay. which is what i thought that this is very your type now mm-hmm. the third one i'm going to show you is um is very again it's got hyun bin in it and this wasn't intentional because just to put it out there uh lee dong book is my favorite uh, not hyun bin uh, just like just saying fan girling taking seriously over here but okay. i could okay. help it i really wanted to put forth uh memories of alambara that's a series that i watched and it's really good and it's really there are many series which are way ahead of their time but in mm. this they're using vr and the way they have interconnected vr with history it is stunning mm. because it's about a game and i don't want to speak any more so let's just go into like so i'm looking okay, at the title it's this. sorry uh ha, no i just want to uh, it's the memories of the alhambra Al- Al- yeah alhambra uh, alhambra uh, alhambra the, yeah. the, the palace in uh, granada right yeah correct 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 so the whole series is based there i like granada like granada was on my list because of the alhambra when i used to live and study in spain and through those two years i wasn't able to make it um and see uh, the alhambra and so i went back a few years after graduating and then i made a special road trip to the south of spain just to go to granada and see the alhambra so oh my god so when I'm you watch saying, this right now yeah. it's going to change the way you look at the city because what they've done with it and i don't know if in the trailer it's doing justice just watch episode 1 after the trailer whenever you get time just watch episode 1 and you will then know i will just for this, yeah. this uh, the location for sure ha ha so, nice, okay. nice. So, so wait you were going to ask me something oh yeah okay right. uh, so so w- the moment you're seeing when i'm telling you all these different stories you know the different content that exists like you know there's the third one that i now told you about uh do you see or is it just me that the content and the kind of story writing which is being picked up to create series that's very different detailed but yet very entertaining just as a concept yeah, yeah, of yeah. series uh, i mean i mean that's that's very in your face uh, that they've kept the entertainment val- factor very high uh, yeah, yeah. while while creating a premise that is very different from the other so far that's Correct. what i'm seeing and even with your intro yeah. to this series it's augmented yeah. reality it's a game and uh yeah. where it's situated and all of that i'm i'm just like where are they coming up with these <laughs> content know? from exactly yeah. ideas kahan se aa rahe right because it's very so, different it's not your yes. run of the mill like crime drama thriller spy series slash whatever koi kidnap ho gaya ya do do you know there is a divide among whatever or everybody's wo wali cheeze i'm sure wo bhi hain but what they do is they take hmm. those basic elements and then they put really interesting spins and characters which can break the monotony of it and take it to another level yeah which is which That's is stunning which is what got me mm. yeah okay cool so, so ready let's let's do it memories Three, of the alhambra yeah 3 2 1 play 대부분의 사람들은 아람브라 궁전을 보러 그라나다에 온다 yes. 그러나 나는 다른 걸 보러 여기에 왔다 아람브라보다 더 신비로운 곳 봤어? 봤어요 대박인데요 이거 봐봐 나는 이 마법을 보러 여기까지 왔다. 보니타 호스텔을 나한테 팔죠. 좋은 값에 살 테니까. 저희 호스텔을 사시겠다고요? 앞으로 그라나다는 마법의 도시로 유명해질 겁니다. 마법이요? 나 원래 필코치는 바로 고하는 성격이라서요. 마침내 오늘 내 인생에 마법이 일어났다. 근데 이걸 진짜 혼자 만들었을까요? 도대체 누구예요 이거? 나도 미치도록 알고 싶다 그래도 그치. 이야기는 여기서부터 시작한다. 그라나다에 오면서.
what the hell? I freaking love it. <laughs> I love it. I love this. What? It's amazing. I was sitting there in the first episode with my jaw open. I was like, what am I watching I'm... right now? What, what is going on? <laughs> Straight up. Oh God, I'm like... <laughs> And trust me, the trailer didn't show some very important things. Like, you know, that statue which is there at yeah. one point, and I can say this because like they literally showed it. Uh, mm. This In the game, the statue comes alive, comes down and fights with you. Oh my so God. you're fighting in the bumps. game. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you can fight, uh, but the moment you lose a life, uh, the statue will go back as a statue. But then you have to keep fighting to win. And the, the statue doesn't let up. Huh? It's, it's a warrior you're fighting. Yeah. And if you don't have that skill, then how when you get, uh, you know, in every game that as you level up, you get uh, some tools, different weapons, and then you upgrade and then you keep going and then you have to keep running back. So it's reality mixing with VR. So imagine that if you to get a sword, you have to enter a restaurant. And you keep losing the game 15 times because you're getting the hang of it. You're physically walking into the restaurant's restroom and they have no idea why you're coming again and again. So it's oh, very funny, so but at the same time, it's very dramatic. And if the and statue kills you, you actually die? Like what's going I on? I mean, you lose a life. You lose a life, right? Like as in if you have certain, like how in a game you lose a life, but you don't actually die. But mm -hmm. unless it's a, it's a game still under development and this guy's gone there to buy the game. Till if a developer messes with the system and say if there are two people who want to buy the game and they mess with the back end of the system where if you die in the game, you can actually die. But what, so, <laughs> so like it's matrix ka some levels ka aisa flashback aega, but then you will also think of like, but it's like, it's good to watch because it opens your brain up in so many ways and you're like, wow. This, wait, when was this? Okay, 28. This must this be was quite recent. Hit. This must be a huge hit because the gaming world has taken over so, much, so many people's yes. lives and so much yeah. of the population. And they are population. so, Junbin is so smart. He always comes up with different series which are so, like, I, I don't even have words because you are, you know, you're promoting the gaming world. You're promoting uh, uh, more like historic stuff. You're yeah. promoting, like everything is rolling into one and then you're creating something. It's really, and also by the way, it's a mystery yeah. because the developer, like right in the first scene, the developer is missing and they have no idea where the developer is and they're finding the developer. Ooh. So all this is going on just to find the developer and Dude. like what all is happening. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've just like, there's too many layers to this that yeah. I am loving. That's, uh, welcome to K drama because that's what happens. <laughs> You're like, Mira kaam ho gaya, convince karne ka, this. I don't know if you have to do it. But just for the whatever, like, I just finished watching a series called uh, The King, Eternal Monarch. And that is again about parallel universes. Okay. So that is about, again, see what, the, what I love about them is how they take history and mm -hmm. the magical sides of, you know, like a king and a crown and a kingdom and all that, mm -hmm. and they mix it with reality and science. And which is when it, the whole thing becomes very interesting because you're talking about a gone by era. If things would not have changed the way they did with all the wars and with everything, can a world exist today where that's not the history they went through? Mm -hmm. Like somewhere, some point of time, Something uh, changed. it bifurcated. And then... It bifurcated and two worlds got created. And if you could travel mm -hmm. through both worlds and yeah. you could see different people who existed who are like you, but they're different. So a lot of, uh, so that, uh, happens a lot in Star Trek, whichever yes. sort of series of Star Trek you get into. Right now, I'm in Discovery, so and it is the latest yeah. one. So they're doing a lot yeah. of this parallel universe, and and where at some Correct. point in time something changes, and something whatever, changes. So they have to make yeah. sure that doesn't change. So they go back in time and Correct. whatever. Correct. Um, Correct. But I mean, I mean, it's it's all. What I'm getting from you is that there is always so many layers that make always. it interesting for yeah. any kind of person and whatever their interest Correct. is. Right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There's an appeal and for you will everyone. And so all these, which I've told you, I even remember I watched one zombie series. I watched one, something to do with, there are so many, like I told you earlier, one, one series I saw, which was uh, Her Secret Life, which was, and it's called Her Private Life, Her Secret Life, both. Uh, but that was about fangirling, which was hilarious again. So mm. there are many, many layers, different kind of content that exists. Recently, I found another kind of content, which I didn't realize, uh, is the reality TV thing. Now, you know, your big boss kind of stuff, I don't enjoy at all. I don't like, know. I just, I don't find it entertaining to watch someone else's life. And it's very you. That's all I'll say. Like, it's very you. It's Anyone like very, tells me I watch big boss, I immediately judge them. <laughs> Sorry. But. but but it's super famous for its genre for a reason, right? Because there are enough people who love, you know, so which is what it, I think, appeals to. Now, no. uh, 
like you know the whole korean tv and korean film they had to just prove me wrong so i'm browsing as usual because nowadays my feed on all you know ott platforms and youtube only looks like as though i'm a korean because those are the only things that get in, like you know pushed towards me because i'm watching so much of it so it's it's a little bit the algorithm so uh, knows yes. you better than yes. yourself yes <laughs> so my last recommendation um, mm. uh, will be about a reality tv show which is called the return of the superman and the specifically yeah. the okay. the the house that i'm talking about it has many houses which uh, come under like you know it's been going on for a long time so it's got lots of different episodes and things this house is called the five sibling house the concept is very simple um it's basically imagine ke dhoni ke bachchon ko ranbir kapoor aake babysit kar raha hai उनके बच्चों को वन मैरिड और अनमेरिड बट समन एक्टर इज कमिंग एंड बेबी सिटिंग ना मोस्ट ऑफ दीरीज मोस्ट ऑफ द रियालिटी टीवी इज अबाउट द फादर looking after so return of the superman basically the father is looking after the children most of these children will be either siblings or they will be the one that i watch like i said is a five sibling house which means there are twin girls then there are twin girls and then there is a boy and they are adorable and their father who used to be a soccer player and i think he's retired now but he was also the captain of their soccer team he is really really like he loves playing tricks on them and he keeps like those kids i just look at them and i'm amazed at how well they are being brought up because they are just like at age 3 or 4 they can go and buy their own grocery and they go and they do like yeah it's it's really crazy to watch them yes, of course under, under under supervision but yeah. their father allows them like cameraman ke sath wo ja raha hai but the cameraman's yeah. not allowed to stop them if if the if they're losing their money or if they don't get changed the cameraman will not intervene saying hey you forgot that because that's the content you're watching a 4 year old do daily things of life but that's not the main thing the main thing is father is taking care of the children and all these actors come in and they are like cleaning poop they are feeding they are cooking and they are like we've never done this in our life how are we supposed to take care of children and those children are crazy they climb all over like how all children are because they are they have so full of energy right so that that's when i start watching these they're like on youtube like 20 minute episodes you i know, keep watching sounding them, like it's sounding like mr india a man it's like that only kids, it's man. like that but funnier मिस्टर इंडिया में जैसे फुल ऐसा धुक धुक एंड इमोशन एंड ड्रामा था ना यहाँ पे इमोशन एंड ड्रामा को हटा दो लाइक आई सॉ रिसेंट एपिसोड वेयर द फादर जस्ट वेयर्स अ एलियन कॉस्ट्यूम एंड ही ट्रिक्स हिज फोर इयर ओल्ड दैट एलियंस आर रियल एंड द किड इज सो स्मार्ट नाउ बिकॉज ही सो यूज टू बींग ट्रिक्ट that he keeps looking at him and he looks at the alien socks and says uh, no but you're wearing my father's socks you're not my father and like many such incident they'll go camping they'll go like different things that they do it's really hilarious so you're you ever are getting uh uh-huh. like if you ever getting bored and you are thinking what to watch i would definitely recommend just watch one episode it will it will just fill you with so much joy that you will be laughing without realizing so but it's, it's a great stress buster but it's ah uh, stress buster so it will make you laugh but it's it's kind of brain dead it's a reality show it's a reality you don't have matlab kya seekhna hai nothing you have to think uh, nothing mm-hmm. you know when you're browsing and you that's want to just look at something <laughs> yeah that yes <laughs> just say <laughs> yes I agree with you. Ah, <laughs> good. So yeah. So ha. Huh. Okay. So that is that. What is that called? Return of the Superman. Yeah, Return of the Superman. Uh, you can either write Chian, which is S I A N Chian, like that's mm-hmm. the little boy's name. He's really famous for that. Or Five Sibling House. Okay. And five, so you've yeah. given us four very different recommendations. Right Wait, now. I told you about the fantasy magical thing, which was Goblin. Yeah. I told you about the VR thing, which was uh, Memories Alambra. of Alhambra. Mm-hmm. Alhambra. Mm-hmm. Then I told you the sci-fi one, which was The King, which is Eternal Monarch. I told no, you crash huh. landing on you which was reality but like yes. a crazy situation and the reality and oh so one genre which I right. completely missed out huh. is the complete uh, social highlighting like a social issue uh, but dealing with it in a very realistic way like all these sound very out there and very whatever right like it's not something you would say ke reality mein hota hai so there's another one called something in the rain that one is about this girl who is 8 years elder older than the guy that she's in love with and how the society would not they would just say ha ye to bhai ban ke jaise hain but actually they're not brother sister because just because the age gap is where the girl is elder so how they're breaking that social norm and what happens and it's very real and so very they're dating or they're married they're dating they're dating ah, they're, they're, dating. they're dating and and, and how they start dating and what happens mm-hmm. and how it's against the you know culture and uh, but how it pr- proceeds so it's very real story i like it i i hate these preconceived uh, you know rules and yeah. and notions of uh, this one can't date that one and that one can't Correct. date and age Correct. gap Labels. and other gap yeah it's just dumb yeah. 
Um, yeah. It's just about but what's interesting is mm. that K drama is not just about the whole fantasy and the out there and larger than life. It's also crazy. reality. Yeah, yeah. It's also these things. So th- there is something for everybody. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, Netflix pay me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously, these are all on Netflix or everything other good. platforms. Oh, everything on Netflix. Everything Netflix. Please, yeah. Netflix. Sponsor. <laughs> we will talk about more of your shows. But um, or better still, or better still, I I would love a meet and greet with uh, Lee Dong Wook also. I'm okay with that also. मुझे पैसों की जरूरत नहीं है. Yes. Why not? Put, put it all out there in the universe. It'll happen. But yeah. that is this is this was brilliant. So I thought you're gonna just give me one romantic uh, drama after another, but this is so uh, so much uh, variety and uh, something for everyone. I know what I'm gonna watch first is Memories of the Alhambra, and then I'll do Crash Landing on you. And I'm yes. never gonna watch the reality thing, but uh, that I'll leave if I'm really dying and desperate. But <laughs> I will, third, I'll get to Goblin. And yes. then the age age difference, wala. Yeah, something something in the rain. Something in the rain. Yeah. So I, I and know if you want to watch, yes, awesome. And if you watch something in the rain after crash landing on you, it's the same actress. So you'll also have like a, because that also happens. You start getting you know uh, because there's this point of reference. So yeah. you start then recognizing the actors and like going deeper into it. And once you're done with all this, I will tell you ten more. <laughs> Aha, uh-huh. we we can do a part two of this. So uh, <laughs> great. This was super <laughs> awesome, man. I love it. Thanks, Bola. Uh, guys, oh, I well. hope uh, if you were also wondering what. Is a deal with K dramas? Then this uh, this video of ours uh, gave you some insight, and uh, maybe you it's made you curious enough about one of these shows, and you're gonna start watching now. Uh, if you do, and if you've already seen any of these shows, then comment below and tell me your favorite bits and your favorite shows yeah. and what you're gonna watch first. All of that. Let's engage. Let's talk about K dramas, and we'll come back with right. a part two if you guys want it. So, thanks, Yar Bola. Thanks. Just one piece of advice before we leave. Oh. Go in with an open mind because yes, you know it takes important. half an episode to get into the whole groove because it's something brand new. New you're watching. पहले yeah. तो चेहरे अलग हैं, भाषा अलग है. There are so many variants which are different that you know it takes a while to get used to it. So yeah. don't compare. Don't go into comparisons. Go in it for the entertainment. Yes, and you learn. And I'm glad you said that because a lot of people just generally don't watch great content because of the language uh, yeah. bar. But I mean, uh, you know, look at Money Heist for example, uh, La Casa de Papel. If you, you know, it's if you hadn't put on the subtitles or watched it in in the dubbed version, whatever uh, you know worked for you, you would have never discovered a great story. I mean, that's that's one Imagine. of the series yeah. that is uh, popular right now so i'm giving that as an example Correct. but Correct. language should never be the reason you don't uh, open your mind to or experience good content so on that note yes. thank you so much uh, for watching check out miss bola's youtube channel it's linked below and we will see you in the next one live long bye time.